We finally got an animation for the Moonlit Bamboo Forest. I'm freaking out because this book series has some of the earliest mentions of one of Genshin's most enigmatic figures ever. The Three Moon Sisters. Let me explain. People think Paimon is a moon sister. Some might think the Unknown God is a moon sister. Others might think Paimon, Traveler, and Lumine are all the Three Moon Sisters. But who are they really? This video will go over the identities of the Moon Sisters as well as explore the tale of the Moonlit Bamboo Forest. Get ready because the second half of this video is going to be a crazy ride. I'm your leafy lord Shiro Menzif and I read the Genshin Impact lore so that you don't have to. The Moonlit Bamboo Forest is a series of four volumes and contains the stories of a small town boy from Chingsa village looking to leave behind his sleepy hometown. He's warned by the village elders about having his soul stolen away by foxes and white horse adepti. In the animation, the boy encounters a fox wedding. He is eagerly invited into the procession, but finds himself getting swept away, presumably about to get his soul stolen by the foxes. He's saved by a white-haired woman with golden eyes surrounded by seelies. In the story, this woman leads him out of the bamboo forest and tells him about the tale of the three moon sisters. The two depart at the edge of the forest and the boy hears a whinnying cry that then grew distant. He turned and looked and there was nothing behind him but a single strand of hair that had come to rest on his shoulder. In the Chinese version of Genshin, this strand of hair is more accurately referred to as horse hair. This means he may have run into the aforementioned white horse Adeptus. Or did he? The fox wedding and snatching of souls could be inspired by Kitsune no Yomeiri. It's the Japanese superstition that foxes play tricks on humans and use atmospheric ghost lights to lure humans to a fox wedding. It's depicted in the movie Dreams by Akira Kurosawa in which a boy accidentally interrupts a fox wedding. A fox sends a ritual sacrifice knife to the boy's mother to let her know of her son's fate and she rushes to the forest to rescue her son. I'm honestly really impressed by this animation which was produced by Passion Pictures. The music was done by Cecile Corbel and I'm freaking out because she's the composer for Ghibli's Arietti, which is one of my favorite Ghibli OSTs. It's a beautiful tale and it's now beautifully animated and it's one of my favorite stories for a reason. But let me summarize the story of the Three Moon Sisters for you as well as their possible identities. The Three Moon Sisters go by the names Aria, Sonnet, and Canon, all technical music terms. Let me get you even more excited for them. Remember the song that plays during Genshin's login screen? Well, the tune of this opening song is officially called Dream Aria, and I'm pretty sure this naming is not a coincidence. The Three Moon Sisters were ancient goddesses that preceded the reign of Morax. So think ancient, ancient Tevet history, they're more than Zhongli old. They were said to have ruled over the Sili race from their lunar palace. The sisters were tasked with riding a silver carriage throughout the heavens and each sister alternated riding the carriage three times a month. If the reign of the carriage was not promptly passed from one sister to the next, a terrible disaster would occur that very day. The beginning of the end occurs when the Moon Sisters witness the marriage of a Sili with an Outlander. In short, an Outlander is a being that comes from outside of Teyvat. So you can probably imagine how taboo this act probably was. This event caused an ancient calamity in which the Sili and Outlander, the two lovers, were separated for eternity and had their memories wiped. The heartbroken Sili withered away, eventually turning into the wispy Sili form we know today. The same ancient calamity overturned the sisters' carriage and destroyed the Palace of the Stars. According to Volume 3 of the Moonlit Bamboo Forest, the Moon Sisters turned on each other and killed each other. Ultimately, at least one sister died and her corpse became the moon in Teyvat's night sky. So who exactly is the lady who helped the boy out of the Moonlit Bamboo Forest? The names of the three Moon Sisters again are Arya, Sonnet, and Canon. All three are musical terms. A canon is a contrapuntal or counterpoint compositional technique that employs a melody with one or more imitations of the melody played after a given duration. Whew. I'm gonna tug on my 17 years of piano experience here, but from what I remember, this technique was very popular in the Baroque period of music. Just think of it like melodies mimicking or following each other. Here's an example.
Sonnet comes from the Italian word sonetto, which means little song. The term is also used to describe a 14-line poem that follows a strict rhyme scheme and structure. Aria, and this one might be the saddest one, is a self-contained piece for one voice, with or without instrumental or orchestral accompaniment. It's a solo. Remember how during the ancient calamity, the three moon sisters killed each other with one of their bodies turning into the moon in Tevat's sky? So, is it Aria, Sonnet, or Canon? Buckle up. This theory is compounded by another theory from Lore Archon Wei. In a video, he introduced the possible identities of three unknown gods in Genshin Impact, all based off achievements in Enkonomiya. The names featured in these achievements are Kairos, Hesperus, and Phosphoros. We actually know the identity of one of them, Kairos. And it comes from another story from Teyvat's ancient, ancient history. So let me explain. The first god of Teyvat was known as the Primordial One. The Primordial One had four gods who worked under him. They were known as the Four Shining Shades. Together, they defeated Nuvilet's family, the Seven Dragon Sovereigns. They essentially colonized Teyvat because the original species of Teyvat were the dragons and vishaps ruled by the Seven Dragon Sovereigns. Kairos is the alternate name of one of these four shining shades, Istaroth, the goddess of time. So if Kairos equals Istaroth and she's one of the four shining shades, then according to Wei, it should follow that Hesperus and Phosphoros are also shining shades. So we at least know the identity of three out of four of these shades. I'm going to expand on his initial theory. These three goddesses mentioned in the Enkonomiya achievements might also be the three moon sisters. We know that two of the Moon Sisters were killed as a result of them turning on each other during an ancient calamity. According to the Amethyst Crown artifact, we might know what that calamity was. In the Enkonomiya records, we learn about two wars that the Primordial One and his Four Shining Shades fought in. The war against the Seven Dragon Sovereigns and the war against the Second Who Came. The war against the Second Who Came caused Enkonomiya to sink underground. In the lore of the Amethyst Crown artifact, the Sumeru goddess of flowers reveals that her race, the Seelies, were exiled due to a calamity and this lines up with the Seelies being cursed into their wispy forms in the moonlit bamboo forest. After Nuvalet's family was defeated, Nibelung, the Dragon King, waged war in retaliation against the Primordial One after he brought forbidden knowledge into Teyvat. This is the war against the second who came, with this title of the second who came possibly referring to Nibelung. I'm guessing because he left and came back to Teyvat. So the calamity that sunk Enkonomiya and the calamity that doomed the Seelie race are the same ancient calamity. Notice the words next to these names in the Enkonomiya achievements. Phosphorus' guidance, Hesperus' boon, Kairos' constancy. Phosphorus' guidance is achieved when you follow Seelies to their Seelie courts. My guess is Phosphorus could be the moon sister Canon, since remember, Canon is a piece in which the melodies follow a leading or guiding melody. I'm about to explode your minds even more. Are you ready? Phosphorus or Canon could even be the Welkin moon, since Welkin means the vault of the sky, the firmament. And the term firmament is also used to describe Teyvat sky. This flat Teyvat belief is apparently common since there's a round earther NPC and Sumeru that gets made fun of. This means the moon we see could be the body of Canon and possibly even the body of one of the four shining shades. On to the next name, Hesperus, and this one makes me depressed. Notice this word boon. Boon is a favor and favor could also be a synonym of blessing. Now, where do we see this word? Blessing of the abyssal moon. The moon we see in the abyss could be the body of Hesperus or the moon sister Sonnet. In Greek mythology, Hesperus is known as the evening star with night also being commonly associated with the abyss. The being that the boy met in the moonlit bamboo forest could have been Arya, the last moon sister and possibly the missing goddess of time. Kairos' constancy and a time constant is a term often used in physics and engineering. If Arya and Istaroth slash Kairos are the same being, however, the honeyed final feast artifact paints an even darker picture. Later, time sundered the contract between day and night, destroying the ancient oath. The gentle moonlight sank into the quicksand. The sun shrouded all things in its fearsome gaze. 
If they are the same being, this seems to imply that the moon sister Arya, aka Isteroth, aka Kairos, could have been the one to kill her other moon sisters. And that's why she's all alone. Why she's been all alone. We know for a fact that the goddess of time was alive even up to the recent cataclysm because she helped out Makoto during Raiden's story quest act 2. But wait, she took the form of a horse in the end of the story, so doesn't that mean she's a horse adeptus and not the goddess of time? Does the horse imagery even make sense for Genshin's goddess of time? So hear me out, the horse imagery actually works, since... What were the three moon sisters known to have done? They were navigating a silver carriage throughout the heavens. A literal horse-drawn carriage. It could also be said that Apollo, the Olympian sun god who had four horses, or even Helios, the Greek god of sun who had his chariot pulled by four horses also, could all be used in correlation with the primordial one and his four shining shades. Four horsemen of the apocalypse, anyone? But again, this is a theory. I'm sorry I keep doing this to you where I hype you up with huge theories only to be like, wait, there are things to refute the evidence. But that's the fun in theory crafting. It's not true until it is. There's still inconsistencies with this train of thought. The Moon Sisters could also be completely separate entities from the Primordial One and the Four Shining Shades, and I can explore that in another video since I feel like it's a huge topic that deserves its own dedicated upload. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next video. I'm your Leafy Lord Shira Menslev, and I read the Genshin Impact lore so that you don't have to.